Part 20, Flex and Dry Tape. Flex and Dry Tape is an expanding foam soft joint solution that saves time and materials while providing a clean look in those areas of a stone or stucco installations that require a soft joint. This solution gives the installer the chance to produce a clean, crisp transition at penetrations, material transitions, and cladding terminations without having to rely on the artwork of a caulk gun or the temperature limitations of caulk. It absorbs differential movement to limit cracking while defending against wind-driven rain and is moisture vapor permeable, which increases the drying potential, leading to a healthier wall. To this point in time, the only real option is a soft joint utilizing sealant such as caulk. There are wide ranges of quality and some installation challenges when using caulk. Maintenance, organic growth, and sealant failures can occur from improper installation or material failures. Flex and Dry provides a transition material to address differential movement, at the same time defending against water penetration and air leakage, while letting moisture vapor escape. Flex and Dry creates a soft joint in one step with just one product, reducing the use of casing beads, backer rod, and unsightly caulk. The Flex and Dry Tape 10.9 foot roll with a 5 8 inch width fills a gap from 3 8 of an inch to 5 8 of an inch. The shadow line and mortar gray color offering complement most applications. This material should be considered any time a stone veneer terminates against a dissimilar material like windows, doors, trim, and siding transitions. Using the material requires an understanding of how to work with an expanding foam tape. The material arrives in a carton stacked flat and should remain there until ready to use. Remove a roll and unwrap the shrink overwrap plastic. If you are ready to install, remove the outer band of brown release tape. Next, cut off and discard the first 1.5 inches of material as this portion will not expand due to manufacturing compression. Once unwrapped, you must begin using the flex and dry tape or rewrap the release tape to restrain expansion. To continue with installation, the second layer of release tape is removed to expose the adhesive that will bond the flex and dry tape during expansion phase. The adhesive's function is to temporarily hold the tape during expansion. After the tape expands, the adhesive is no longer needed. Flex and dry tape expands away from the adhesive as it fills a gap. There are three methods of installation of flex and dry tape. Installation of flex and dry tape method one. This method works well for tight fit installations. At all locations where your installation will meet dissimilar materials, clean the surface where the tape will be applied. Then apply the flex and dry tape prior to stone installation. Here it is okay to let the tape expand. During your stone installation, you will compress the flex and dry tape back to its 3 8 of an inch to 5 8 of an inch application range. Once that step is done, the installation is complete. Installation of flex and dry tape method two. This method works well for those applications with a grout joint, especially those stone textures with irregular joint width. This method starts with adding 3 8 of an inch to 1 half inch scrap material in place to hold gap width while the stone is installed and joints are grouted. Wood or foam strips work good for this step and typically can be held with painter's tape and a strategic tack or two. After stone install, spacers are promptly removed and mortar is cleaned up to leave uniform 3 8 of an inch to 5 8 of an inch gap. Cure the installation. Thoroughly clean the surface for the tape to be applied. Flex and dry tape is inserted into the gap, working from the bottom up to prevent the tape from being stretched or shrinking as it expands. Push the tape sideways to make adhesive contact with dissimilar material. A putty knife works well to complete this step. Depending on the temperature, the tape will expand at different rates. Shims can be inserted to hold tape in place during expansion. Installation of Flex and Dry Tape Method 3. This method is appropriate when you are using flex and dry tape to fill a gap around a small radius penetration, like those for plumbing and HVAC. In this application, you will install stone veneer and grout joints first. Typically, spacer materials are not required. Instead, stones are set to leave gap around the penetration. When installing around electrical boxes, 
Four separate pieces of flexant dry tape will be used. Start by cutting two pieces to the full width of the opening. Install these pieces at the very top and bottom of the opening, with the adhesive facing away from the penetration. Then cut and install two pieces to fill the vertical space, again with the adhesive facing away from the penetration. As the four pieces expand, they will neatly fill the gap and form to the penetration. Thank you for watching. Please view the other videos in this series for helpful manufactured stone veneer installation techniques and tips. Learn more about Flex and Dry Tape at www.flexanddrytape.com.